Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time I am bringing you a brand new cooler from... Does anyone there remember Cryborg? Well, I certainly do. And they are bringing you a brand new air cooler. This is the CX-6. And first of all, we're going to see what comes in the box. I've also got thermals as well as a noise test. And then we'll have a little chat afterwards. So make sure you continue to watch. Okay, and so this is the CX6 CPU cooler from Cryog. Do you remember those? Because I most certainly do. I haven't seen a CPU cooler from these guys in literally years. So what we're going to do first of all is we'll have a look at the, the outside box. See, look, it tells you all the specifications that you need. And of course, you get a little glimpse of the cooler. And then, of course, just tells you many heat pipes. And then what we'll do is open it up. So, you get a big huge installation guide for Intel and AMD. Then you get the installation, the accessory box, which, of course, you get clips. You get all the, that. Some extra thermal paste that I asked for. Some more. Some more. A very big screwdriver. And then of course then it comes with the mounting brackets by right here for AMD and Intel. Then we got, ah, got some more thermal paste. And then a bit of foam. Right, so when it comes in terms of the CPU cooler itself, the overall packaging is very similar to Montec. Now, what I will do is get this cooler out now so we can have a little look at it. Because from the picture, it looks really nice. So I don't know whether it's going to or not, but from the pictures, it looks very, very nice. So, okay, so this is the first look at the cooler now. The fans, they are basic. The tower block, the tower top, then it's got a flat base, but here with heat pipes. Oh, actually, actually. Now that is plastic, but it does have a like aluminium look to it, brushed aluminium. Oh, magnetic, so that's good. So now the other fan. Good, and then we can just take that out. Okay, move out of the way. That actually looks really nice. So, get two of these, which uh, they are daisy chainable. You can daisy chain the PWM and the ARGB itself. So, for this now, from what I've looked at online, it does light up. So, Hmm. You know. For that, that's it. Now, let's get this installed and have a look at it. Okay then, so this is the CX-6 from Cryborg, brand new, and this is our 50% fan speed. This is our 100% fan speed. Mm. 
this isn't an accurate level of its noise but it gives you an idea of what it sounds like right then so when it comes to the thermal testing i do my exact every uh, the same tests i do every time i test the cooler so Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, 3D Mark CP test. So I've done two separate tests, like I usually do out of the box settings, then with PBO, so it pushes it a bit harder. So for the out of the box, the Cinebench R23 idles with 25 Celsius with a max of 62. Blender Classroom, the idles with 25 Celsius with a max of 60. Blender BMW, the idles are 25 with a max of 59 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 29, 25 Celsius with a max of 64 Celsius. And the max, the power draw was 140 watts. Right, so this is with PBO enabled, XMP enabled, so I allow it to push as much as it wants. So for Cinebench R23, the idles were 26 Celsius. Room had started to heat up a little. The max was a 79 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 26 Celsius. The max of 77 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles were 26 Celsius with a max of 77 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 26 with a max of 72. 2 celsius and the power draw 180 watts 5900x okay and so you've seen the unboxing you've seen what comes in included with when it comes to the unboxing experience you've also heard how loud it is to be fair it's not really loud you've also seen the thermals now also you've also some uh, seen some of the gorgeous b-roll that i captured now what i will say in terms of pricing, it is actually not bad. It's actually around the PLS Assassin pricing. It's actually £40, which, to be fair, is actually a very good price point. Now, what I will say, it performs very well. It's not loud by any means. I've had a lot louder coolers than this. This is very good in terms of its, its quietness. But there is always going to be one but with me, and that would be the cable management. Just look at that. Look, look, I get it, okay? I get it, right? There's two fans, but you've got this fan coming off the top, which does light up, as you saw on the B-roll. Now, yes, it is subtle. It's not very bright, but it does shine gorgeously. Now, this and this... They should have shrunk it. Now, I like that the, the cooler itself with the PWM is daisy-chainable. But what they should have done is the middle fan had it as a single uh, a single four-pin. So then you could daisy-chain for better cable management. Exact, well, they should have done exactly the same for the RGB as well. Now... Yeah, it's all RGB, of course, but it's the cable mess that is going to be a nuisance, considering that I had difficulties because trying to actually hide them and run them correctly, it was a bit difficult because there's only so much length on these cables. That is the only problem I have with this cooler. Nothing else, really. The mountain is exactly the same mountain that Montec uses for their uh, DT24. Exactly the same mountain. Whether they've uh, whether they're part of the same company or not, I'm not quite sure. Mountain it was easy. The base plate big, so it will actually do for 14th gen Intel as well as AM5. Now the price forty pound. I think that's a very good price point. A lot of uh, brands like. Gamdas or whatever they call them, they priced that dual tower at ninety pound, which I'm sorry wasn't worth that. It may be worth forty, maybe fifty. That's it. I wouldn't really go any higher to be honest. But that's just my opinion. It's a good cooler. 
it's actually i like the rgb aspect of it as you know if you're a fan of the channel i love my rgb very big advocate for rgb and the rgb in this is really nice i like it it's tasteful on the top but it's the cables i don't like bundles of cables at the end of the day if you were just a basic beginner you're looking for a cheap air cooler which this is definitely in that category because a dual tower usually is between 30 and 110 pound depending on what brand like be quiet there top end ones 109 not to a you know deep cool even they got K uh, coolers that are like 70 80 quid but this for a dual tower i think 40 pounds is actually reasonable it's between the you know there it's between the pls assassin and some other brands and it actually performed very well now whether you guys want to see it in a head-to-head, -head, of course, that is another question that you guys can comment down below and let me know. But other than that, it gets my stamp of approval and the performance, the price, the overall aesthetics as well as the RGB, fantastic. But there's one negative, like I said, the cables and that's it. But other than that, it gets my stamp of approval and it's a good cooler for the price, so pretty much that's it guys so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things make sure you comment down below tell me your ideas if i can get them in i will try my best i'm still contacting thermal right that we're back and forth all the time i'm trying to get products in but it's becoming a bit of a nightmare i've got about the apnx case to do the unboxing the overview i might do a build in it i don't know that's really if you guys want to see it then i will but other than that i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and a week ahead for as for christmas and i will see you in the next video this is richard from welsh tech good bye